This morning I woke up in southern Utah and I got a message that I had an official invite to come here to Austin, Texas to go to the Cyber Rodeo and see Elon Musk speak on stage. And you know I don't like to miss a Tesla event because there are always surprises. It is always fun. And from what I'm seeing so far, this might be the most fun Tesla event that I've ever been to. Luckily, thanks to some good friends, I was able to uh, get some sort of VIP pass and I am in. There were 15,000 people that were invited to this. You've got politicians that are speaking tonight. At nine o'clock, Elon is going to speak. I think it's going to be a wild night. Let's do this. There's no cell service here, I think, because there's so many people. But good news, there is Cyber Rodeo Wi-Fi. But look at all the other Wi-Fi. It's probably all of these wall chargers right here. Oh my gosh, there's Franz right there just randomly walking through here. He is the one that's designed pretty much all of the Teslas. There is an actual petting zoo with animals. So here's the Gigafactory. The doors are open right here. And then the party and the speech is going to be down that way. Well, might as well go inside and see what it looks like in there. It looks like some sort of assembly line is here. Oh, oh, oh this is so cool. I've never been inside of one of the Tesla factories. I've owned multiple cars. I've taken apart their engines, but this is really cool. And this looks like the motors for the Model Y. So the rear motor is just sitting there, motor after motor after motor. There we go, right there. We've got it hanging on the wall. What's inside of a Tesla? When I left my house this morning, I was excited to hear Elon speak. And now that I'm coming inside of here, I did not realize how much I would love seeing this. There's a body of a Model Y right there going through. It is the 4680 batteries. A structural battery improves ride comfort while increasing emergency handling. Oh my gosh, look at this. So you can see that body is just hovering above the structural battery pack, the 4680. Now when they come along this assembly line, this orange jack right here, raises up the battery pack and connects it to the actual portion of the car. I would imagine there's a lot of welding and different clicks that go into place to get it connected. But then after this step, you actually have a vehicle that is put together and then can go get the doors and some of the other things done. Sometimes people get worried about batteries being inside of a car and what happens if you're in an accident and do the batteries catch on fire and explode? Yes, in extreme circumstances, they can catch on fire, but the majority of the time, there are protections in place so that the battery pack does not catch on fire. And with the 4680 battery cells and this process of having it be a structural battery pack, it's going to make the car stronger, but it's also going to protect the batteries in case of an accident. You're far more likely to have your car catch on fire from getting in an accident with gas inside of the vehicle. I'm hoping from Elon we're gonna learn a little bit more tonight about the 4680 batteries and how they not only are safer, but I'm hoping they're lower cost and they have more range in the vehicle. The first and second row seats of the Tesla Model Y are fully assembled right here in Giga Austin. I can't tell if the white seats are either a T for the Tesla logo or a Y for the Model Y because primarily the Model Y is gonna be coming out of this, but I don't know why, it just makes me happy to see all of these seats lined up. What's inside of the Tesla? seat. We've taken a few of them apart before. You've obviously heard about Teslas using autopilot to drive around. Well, inside of the Gigafactory, in order to go from place to place, they have these red skids that have some sort of radar or cameras on each one of the corners of them. And through each stage of the process, these automatically drive around to take things from the next step and the next step, all on the same skid. Whether it's the finished Tesla Model Y or the car going to the body shop or the paint shop or the structural battery pack they all use these skids in order to navigate their way through there's the screen for the model y and the entire dashboard with the air conditioning unit on it just moving around an assembly line here again i can't believe how excited i am to be inside of the factory i could spend a week just learning about this whole process it is so cool to look at behind us we have what looks like the paint shop bay but then also some insanely bright LED lights. And I know it looks cool for the setup today, but my guess is this is in order for them to inspect the vehicle under the lights to make sure that the paint job was a good paint job. So we're an hour and 15 minutes away from Elon speaking on stage. And you know the way I usually operate these things. I get here early, I'm right at the front of the stage. 
but today I just cannot get over how cool the battery shop is. So I'm gonna wait in this massive line right here and go upstairs because upstairs we should be able to see the battery assembly line, the 4680s. And that's something I really wanna see. I've made it upstairs. This is the second level and it is packed. People getting drinks, people buying Tesla shop stuff like merchandise, and I see an original Tesla Roadster. I gotta go see this bad boy. Yes, the original Tesla Roadster right there. Oh baby. This is the same color as the one that Zach, Jerry, everything has. The exact same type of red. I'm curious the VIN number on this. Oh, that's number two. That's the second one ever made off the assembly line right there. Number two, wow. I wanna see the next generation Roadster and the Cybertruck. But I know they're here, I've seen pictures of them here. I just don't know exactly where they are here. <laughs> found it. Next generation Roadster, we found it. I have ridden inside of this thing on opening night. That was 2017, we're now in 2022. This thing is still here, not produced. I'm hoping they announce something with it tonight, but realistically, it's probably gonna be 2023 or 2024 for this guy, but I really, really want it in my garage. We also have the semi-truck is here. And last but not least, we do have the Cybertruck. So today I published a video with the Hummer EV that I rode in last week. And one funny thing about it is that it has three windshield wipers on it, which is a lot of windshield wipers. Well, the Cybertruck has the biggest one windshield wiper you've ever seen that goes across the entire thing. I don't know if that's what it's gonna be like on the production model, but I hope so. But important to know, it is not the first Tesla that's had one windshield wiper. The original Roadster has one wiper in the middle that goes across. This one's like on the side and goes down. I really want to see it in action someday. I keep going back and forth. I'm like, yes, I love the Cybertruck. Then I'm like, no, it's really weird looking. But then, when I, and then when I see it in person, I'm like, okay, I kind of want it. I kind of do want it. It's really cool. Not sure what is to be of this, but someday we might have the AI bot. It's actually much smaller than I thought. I got up on the AI bot right next to him. I'll put the picture up here. But then they kicked me off. There's like 20 people that went. That when I went up, I'm the one that got kicked off. This music is really loud. I don't even know if you can hear me. It is a full on rock concert here. It's amazing. There are people so deep. There's no way I'm getting next to the stage, but I do have a purple VIP badge. I'm not sure how I got this. And I think it enables me to go in this upper level area. So let's see if we can get up into the uh, VIP area and feel so fancy. We're in. We are in the VIP area. Oh baby, VIP. Very important person here. with people. I don't belong up here. I am not a VIP. One person that I just recognized is Beeple. B-E-E-P-L-E. -E -E. He is the one that a year ago sold his NFT for $69 million. That's right. He started the entire phase and the run of NFTs by selling that one NFT at Christie's auction house. Yeah, I definitely don't belong on stage here, but I am grateful to be here. Elon should be coming out any moment now. I'm hoping there's some surprises and some other things that are happening tonight, but this event is definitely 100 times bigger, and I would say better than any other Tesla event that I've been to over the years. There are a bunch of drones flying around outside making shapes of things. It's super trippy. I actually wish I was outside at this moment. I love that he's in the OG Roadster. I love it. Cyber Rodeo. 
So we're, we're going to talk about uh, past, present, and future. Yeah. California is great. We're, we're, we're continuing to expand in California, uh, but uh, we're running out. We ran out of room, and so we need a place where we can be really big. And there's no place like Texas. If you put bowling on the side, uh, it was, it's taller than the Burj uh, Khalifa. Uh, that's to scale. This year is all about scaling up, and then uh, next year there's going to be a massive wave of, of new products. manufacturing plant in the world is going to have these 4680 cells. This is what the pack will actually look like. This is how many batteries are inside of one Model Y pack right there strung up. And then here are the ribbons. Each one of these ribbons that goes up is the inside of this just wrapped up inside of one cell. I'm seeing what's inside the batteries without even taking it apart. So thank you Tesla for doing my job tonight. So right now I'm standing at the end of the battery assembly line. So they go through this as a cell and they go through and get put into the structural pack, get smashed together. And basically this giant press of this giant machine right here picks up the final pack and moves it over and then the line takes it downstairs where they then take it, get everything ready and then stick it together to the car like we saw down below. Elon said a few things tonight that I really liked. One of them is this is the most advanced manufacturing facility in the world, for sure with Tesla. At Fremont where they make cars, he showed an image where it shows all the cars and the different parts and the different stages in different areas. This one was made for a specific purpose, taking all the learnings that they had with Fremont to make it better here. It's like a computer chip and everything moves from one stage to the other, which should enable them to have 500,000 cars per year produced just out of this factory right here. And they still have room to expand. It's machines building machines and production is not easy. Production is really hard. And these are the most advanced machines in the world. There's a Giga Press that does a full body casting for their cars. The first auto company to actually do that. And pretty much this entire floor is the battery area. And at some point, once they are fully ramped up, hopefully by the end of this year, this plant will be the highest producing battery plant in the entire world. Check out the Longhorns on the Model Y. <laughs> this isn't just a random Model Y. This is actually the Model Y that is towing the different trailers that move people everywhere. It's been about an hour since the show ended and uh, you still got the petting zoo open. So party's not over because Elon just got done talking. It's just continuing to go on. There's a random cactus farm here. If you learned anything from my Hummer video, I like cactuses. They even have a tattoo parlor here, a legit tattoo parlor. It's hard to tell you how tall that really is, but you got the giant Tesla coil and all these people holding up sticks toward it. I'm not sure why they're holding up sticks. Maybe it's gonna shock them, I don't know. stage they've got like basketball shooting over here wind stuffed animals get tattoos lots of cowboy hats this is a party Whoa. well I am leaving the Giga factory now I'm in a giant parking lot where everybody went it's a huge traffic jam to go out 
and on the other side of the Gigafactory, which is really far away, they told me the ride sharing is on this side, so I just came to this side. The security people don't know where ride sharing is, so um, I might get home, <laughs> not that organized as far as people moving, but what do you expect? Um, this is a Tesla event. It looks nice and shiny inside, but they probably threw a lot of it together over the last week or so. So anyway, I should be able to find my way back home and uh, hope you guys liked seeing what's inside of the Gigafactory in Austin. I thought it was pretty amazing. Best event that Tesla has done so far that I've been to. I've been to probably seven events so far and uh, I'm gonna find my way home now. Thanks for watching. Woo, that's loud.